JigsVL here with a brand new uh, video discussion that is both sad news and also sharing my experience that uh, consider this as a memorial tribute in the passing of Kazuki Takahashi who is the creator of Yu-Gi-Oh! in which Yu-Gi-Oh! is a very popular and impactful uh, property from Japan that uh, influence uh, many people like me and also whoever is watching this like yourself that is a big fan of Yu-Gi-Oh who can also consider themselves as a duelist if you played the card games right even has some uh, set, uh, uh, just some cards for me to show you guys throughout this video but before going into that and sharing my experience uh, yeah Yu-Gi-Oh is a very big popular IP that no one can deny that like if you've seen the anime played the card game or play a video game either on the PSP or PS2 or even the, the current days when it comes to like brand new Yu-Gi-Oh games especially with the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Master Duel right so uh, of course there are many people out there like me paying their respects uh, in the past scene of the creator of Yu-Gi-Oh and may the man rest in peace for all of his hard work uh, and talent and imagination that we get to cherish and be grateful to call ourselves either a duelist or just a fan uh, of the series. You either read the book itself, that is the manga, uh, especially watching the anime in its original format with the Japanese dub and English subtitles for those who have not seen the Western Night uh, versions uh, uh, of, of of these uh, other series, right? Because uh, just to refresh everyone's memories, if you've seen Yu-Gi-Oh! as a kid uh, in Canada and the U.S. of A, I'm not too sure which other uh, Western uh, um, regions um, have seen uh, the censored uh, for kids version of Yu-Gi-Oh! But yeah, it's entirely a, a little bit different than how uh, others will perceive it because I'm pretty sure they've seen the original series themselves and uh, even the manga. So now, moving forward from that, uh, to show you guys my very own experience when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh! Just to let you know, I'm also a very big fan of Godzilla. Uh, it, uh, there's a reason I say that because I have some stuff for me to show you later on in the video that are not just cards, alright? Because Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, aside from just Godzilla, impacted uh, my love for uh, monsters and especially when it comes to fantasy and some a little bit more medieval stuff and dragons all, and even machines, especially machines. So, starting off as a kid, uh, when it comes to like uh, being in pre-K but also elementary uh, that uh, I didn't know how to properly play these cards, obviously. Heck, I'm pretty sure I used to only slide for the Sky Dragon, and I think I might have lost it or traded with someone else. So, yeah, I wasn't too much bright, uh, because I'm pretty sure there was other kids who were a little bit more um, uh, brighter than me. <laughs> uh, obviously, heck, I used to own a green pack pack that had Yu-Gi-Oh! on it. I even celebrated my own birthday being Yu-Gi-Oh! themed, but I'm pretty sure there was a jumping balloon that had a Power Rangers on it. I was looking through some pictures or videos uh, uh, past last month uh, when I was doing some cleaning. Uh, but yeah, uh, I really love Yu-Gi-Oh! I even saw Yu-Gi-Oh! the movie in theaters. I would argue to say that was my first uh, anime movie because back then I did not know what anime was. I thought like I said this in some previous videos, and I'll keep on saying this again. I thought Naruto, Dragon Ball Z, and even the likes of Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon, I thought they were either from Canada and or the U.S. of A. Uh, so yeah, again, I wasn't that bright, but now I know a little bit more. And I, I was actually surprised that it had a manga, uh, like a book uh, for me to read or uh, sometime in the future. So who knows on that? Uh, I at least did play a PS2 Yu-Gi-Oh game, uh, but I it seems like I didn't like it too much up until like uh, I own a PSP. Uh, you know, obviously playing a little bit of Dragon Ball, but of course Yu-Gi-Oh 5Ds. That is right, 5Ds. I did not only just watch Yu-Gi-Oh the classic series, but also GX 
and fight these. So yeah, I'm I'm in that type of era uh, in that um, uh, trilogy, so to speak, because I have not catch on to the other new cards uh, after um, uh, five Ds. Heck, I was getting into like this retirement stage and just stick with video games like Yu-Gi-Oh! Five Ds on my PSP. But sadly, my PSP got busted. Uh, and so I got a PS Vita in which, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm not even too sure there was a, uh, if there's any, uh, like a Yu-Gi-Oh! game for the PS Vita. So let me know in the comments below uh, if there is, all right? But luckily, um, oh, but also sadly, I was giving away and trading some cards. Uh, heck, I was, I think I was also losing some cards I, I, because I forgot where I left them. But up until now, though, um, I'm now back in, in this, uh, uh, back into square one in collecting and also getting some cards that I actually want. And especially if you played the Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, uh, Legacy of the Duelist, and Master Duel, there were plenty of cards that I truly resonate with with and resonate with me personally because uh, I know this may sound cheesy but I finally found the type of cards that I really am fond of so like with Yugi himself uh, I don't have a dark magician of my own but I perceive this guy as my dark magician uh, I it's Gen X ally Duter Dark I really love these Gen X monsters sadly I only have like two physically but I have used these Gen X cards uh, when it comes to the video games, all, all the way back in 5Ds, all the way up to now, uh, I love using uh, Gen X Ally Duter Dark. He's my Dark Magician, uh, like one my go-to um, uh, card. Heck, uh, like Yugi as well, he has one of his personal um, uh, favorite uh, warrior monsters. He had the Celtic Guardian. For me, it's Dark Blade. Uh, he has one of his own dragons, uh, but sadly, I don't have one physically, but I, there was one in particular that I found that looks very similar to the likes of Slifer the Sky Dragon. So you might want to call him a, a discount or whatever, but he goes by the name White Horned Dragon. I may not have that physically, like I said before, but I do use that card digitally on Master Duel. It's a very damn cool card, uh, if I say so myself. And uh, I mentioned five Ds, right? Yeah, I really love synchronizing monsters a lot. Uh, heck, I even have uh, the most popular and familiar cards known as Junk Synchron and Junk Warrior that were used by Yusei Fudo. I really love these types of monsters, and they look a little bit more machine-like, if you ask me, but they're really warrior types of, of monsters, which is pretty cool, if you ask me. Uh, heck, I even found another card that goes by the name Hydro Tortoise, uh, in which is an effect card, and once you flip it, it's a water type, and it will destroy uh, a face down or face up uh, trap or spell card. So that one is very useful, and it looks a little bit more machine, but it's a warrior type as well. So I I do have a much more of a keen on machines, but also warriors and a little bit of dragons here and there. Heck, I do have a like favorite monsters myself uh, when it comes to the anime like of course everyone loves the dark magician and the blue eyes white dragon but for me personally it's the red eyes black dragon and summon skull both used by uh, uh, uh by the main characters like joy wheeler and even uh, Yugi himself, and especially at one point, they uh, fused those cards together to defeat those um, uh, twin Shaolin Monk brothers uh, when it comes to using that maze-looking uh, um, field card, uh, if you guys uh, remember that very episode. So, I do have an attachment for one of my favorite monsters that I most likely use, and um, make them as my own uh, deck. Heck, um, uh, going into GX, I really was mostly a fan of the likes of both uh, the Elemental Heroes and the Roid Machines. Sadly, I only have like one Roid Machine and it's Truck Roid. I'm hoping to get more Roid Machines because I was able to pull off a summon against um, uh, one of my fellow friends uh, that, well, an online friend, uh, uh, that uh, at least we've been talking to uh, since uh, I'm pretty sure you, some of you guys uh, who have been following me uh, on my um, uh, on my videos when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Master Duel uh, but 
sadly, uh, I have not shown that monster in the video gameplay footage, but it is a very powerful um, uh, Roid monster as a fusion, and he looks like a like a huge warrior to me, but. Yeah, again, there's a, like a specific thing I'm trying to go for. Heck, if you guys remember those uh, magnet warriors that Yu-Gi-Oh, I mean Yugi himself uses. Sorry, guys. Uh, I, I was able to find some interesting cards that were connected to the magnet warriors. I think they're called uh, electromagnetic warriors, which is another branch. Heck, there's now more um, family branches when it comes to the Dark Magicians, uh, the Magician Girl. Uh, yeah, there's now more Magician Girls. There's like uh, Chocolate Magician Girl, Lemon Magician Girl, Berry Magician Girl, Apple, Apple Magician Girl. It's very uh, odd. Heck, the Dark Magician branch itself uh, is more of a road robe because, it, you know, Dark Magician's cloak. Uh, Dark Magician's Rod, his very own soul. What's next? Uh, Dark Magician Belt? Dark Magician um, a Hat? Or Dark Magician Hair? Um, <laughs> like, you gotta be kidding me here. I, I know those cards don't really exist, except for the first three I mentioned. Uh, but, man, it sounds really ridiculous. And then you get uh, the Blue Eyes uh, um, White Dragon having numerous cousins and alternatives there's literally a card that is called blue eyes alternative dragon for pete's sake and only has like two synchro monster monsters that do look very similar or maybe the same as the blue eyes white dragon just in a called very different iteration one of them is literally called azure eyes silver dragon not gonna lie it looks pretty badass if you ask me but yeah even one of my favorite monsters that is Summon Skull and uh, Red Eyes Black Dragon um, have their own variations. Just maybe not too many as the other cards that I mentioned. And speaking of the Red Eyes, uh, I kind of do have them, but I don't think this one is legal to use if you catch my drift. Because unlike uh, the others, uh, it doesn't have that marks uh if you catch my drift and especially it has uh, the kanji uh, uh writing symbols i'm not too sure if that's actually japanese uh because uh, I'm, I'm not gonna lie i'm kind of ignorant uh, when it comes to um, uh, um uh, you know the writing from whichever asian culture branch uh it belongs to uh and, and maybe it might be uh my um, Japanese writing, but I could be very mistaken, though, um, uh, very mistaken. And also, uh, I mentioned the Synchro Monsters, right? Uh, I love to, I would love to use these other cards, but look, but sadly, there's one of them that cannot be Synchro Summoned properly, which is this guy. Apparently, you need a, a, a Rogue Synchron, which I do not have right now, uh, sadly, right? And, uh, of course, if you remember some particular um, uh, other monsters that you've seen in the anime, it's one of these guys, and I think he's pretty damn useful. Heck, uh, as of late, there's now these XYZ uh, monsters. I'm pretty sure XYZ monsters were in the 5Ds era as well, but I think there's now a little bit more in the current era. Uh, nowadays, we now have links and Pendulums. Uh, uh, I'm not kidding when I say this. There are other anime after uh, 5Ds, in which I'm pretty sure people didn't bother checking them out like myself. I actually checked out a new recent one. I think it's called Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens. And I saw episode one, and I'm like, you know what? I think it's fairly decent. But then again, I uh, the, they use a CGI 3D um, a rendering up for uh, the Blue-Eyes White Dragon to be uh, witnessed in action instead of your traditional 2D. And I'm like, I guess it makes sense since uh, they are playing a card game, especially using virtual reality in some sort of way. The beginning of the episode's uh, opening, you see that they're in these giant mechas. And I'm like, okay then. Interesting. Man, first with the whole, um, uh, <laughs> about riding on these motorcycles to use the, these uh, monster cards, and now this. I wonder what will come up next. I'm surprised we never got actually a... Uh, um, uh, maybe there is, maybe there is, for coming from Japan at least. Uh, if you guys recall those dual discs, I actually used to own either one of them. I actually used two. Uh, I think I got rid of them. Sadly, uh, one was a, you know, that uh, seal of Orichalcos type of uh, dual disc, and the other one was just the regular when it comes to 
uh, you know, that dual champion tournament, whatever that uh, Seto Kaiba came up with, right? And heck, um, I totally forgot that, that Seto Kaiba um, uh, put out a card that looks exactly like him, but wearing a mask, calling himself Kaiba Man. And I thought, and people think that Great Saiyan Man looks kind of ridiculous. I love Great Saiyan Man. I don't think I could take Kaiba Man seriously. <laughs> He literally calling himself Kaiba Man. What's next? Are we gonna get uh, Super Wheeler? <laughs> um, uh, a Bat Yugi. <laughs> just saying, just saying. <laughs> it, it just sounds a little bit silly. But uh, again, I go back into appreciating these cards though, and uh, I hate to use one of my own recent videos to make a, a point. Uh, I was in a duel. Uh, against someone that goes by the name Elvis, and not gonna lie, um, I know this may sound very cheesy, kind of condescending or pretentious coming from my behalf, but to use like multiple um, uh, very strong cards to banish a lot of your own cards into the banish realm, um, uh, just to summon a monster as a strategy, I don't know, I think that's coming across as very disrespectful to the cards that uh, you work so hard to get. And getting some new monsters is not that easy when it comes to Master Duels, if I'm being honest. Both Master Duels is both a blessing, but also a curse. <laughs> I want to say mostly blessing, but <laughs> there's like a lot of stuff um, going on there <laughs> when it comes to um, uh, these um, uh, um, uh, pain in the butt uh, duelists and very strong uh, monsters. But that's an entirely different topic I do not want to put here, okay? Again, I apologize if that Came across as pretentious or kind of sending. I uh, apologize for that, but man, uh, I I just love um uh, these monsters a lot. And I mean, yeah, I know there's gonna be some monsters out there, uh, some cards that you have no choice to use as a last resort. And I respect that at least in that uh, ideology and or philosophy, using things as a last resort. But to um. Uh, like, I'm gonna go wild crazy just to get an easy win. Just seems, just comes across as not too much fun and kind of ruins how, how I perceive the game, how I saw it way back then, than how it's being portrayed nowadays. Especially with the, the with these new monsters like the Pendulums and the Link monsters that I mentioned. Uh, I tried using them. Some of them are okay, others not so much. So I'm like, uh, I think I will make maybe only some exceptions. I tried using Link monsters myself, but man, I just not too crazy with them. Luckily, there are some monsters that just don't have no convoluted effects whatsoever. But there will be some effects that will have an interesting advantage. Heck, um, uh, one of these new monsters, uh, when it comes to machines, uh, are called Super Heavy Samurais, in which they're. Again, they're machines, and yet they're trying to be portrayed like they're sumo wrestlers, uh, ninjas, or whatever. And I'm like, okay, then. Uh, I actually use one of those um, uh, synchro monsters uh, uh, to help me out. Because who knew that being defensive can actually be more helpful than ever. And especially still able to attack while in defense mode. That's pretty cool. I really like that. And uh, what I also want to mention... Uh, is the fact that like there's still some other monsters that I appreciate that I would consider to be like some sort of cousin. Heck, uh, Dark Blade, my man, Dark Blade, he has his own little family branch. Not too much. Uh, there's the Pitch Black uh, Dragon uh, that you can use an, as an equip card because it's part Union. And there's this Kuryu, if I'm not mistaken, it's called. And then there's Dark Blade, uh, uh, he like a ruler of the. Uh, dark or evil world, something like that. And I'm like, oh, okay then, but I think I'd rather just stick with this guy and do some, fu um, uh, some, some fusion stuff when it comes to uh, that card. There's Red Eye Slash Dragon that I love using, and I like to use the Claws of Hermos uh, to like get that uh, Red Eye's um, uh, Black Dragon Sword to equip it to my Dark Blade, because if you use your imagination, I'm pretty sure it looks badass, right? So, yeah, I really love um, uh, these uh, cards, and I'm pretty much sorry that this video has been taking long, but there is something I do want to get this quickly out of the way. Uh, I'm, this won't take too long. I have these notebooks. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to show too much, but 
I listed each type of monster, whatever I draw. These drawings are not that inherently good by other people's standards, but the ones I'm showing are vastly improvements uh, than these old ones, uh, if I'm being honest. Uh, let's like at least go from the beginning as a good example. Phoenix Watch, and it's a winged beast. How I came up with Winged Beast? Because of these cards. They will tell you each of the types, right? And I, like I said, mentioned before, I love Godzilla. So using these um, monster types and my love for Godzilla put together, like both Yu-Gi-Oh! and Godzilla, like you get something like this. So uh, I call it Phoenix Watch uh, by using both the Phoenix and Sasquatch. This is me if I was a kaiju, a monster myself. So, right? But like I said, I used some improvements along the way. I take a little moment, guys. I think this is a little bit better. Just with the belt. <laughs> you know? Still Phoenix Watch, but like I said later on, uh, there's still a lot of, of those drawings. But yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! really impacted, uh, again, many people. But with me, it really impacted my love for the monsters and um, cherishing these cards. Like I said, I'm a, a little bit more of a machine user than a spell cast user or, or a dinosaur user. But I do like to use those cards myself. I have uh, those very creative builds back on Master Duels. I'm not too sure how long Master Duels will last or whatever. But I hope it will still last a little bit more longer than other free-to-play games. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's some free-to-play games out there that might have ended. That's just my guess. I'm not saying it, it's really true or whatever that's just my guess uh dc universe online is still kicking it apparently so so i'm pretty sure there are free to play games that are still continuing for the most part all right uh, I'm, I'm just only saying there might be only some free to play games that have not continued at all all right just only just some just not a lot i'm just only making a guess and an assumption not confirming that all right but so as far as i know i apologize that this um, video became a little bit more longer than usual, but I just really love Yu-Gi-Oh! And again, uh, thanks to the likes of the of the man who, who gave birth to Yu-Gi-Oh! And hopefully, maybe, I will watch um, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! in the original format when it comes to the Japanese dub with the English subtitles and uh, read uh, the manga. I just now figured out that there's now this Yu-Gi-Oh! Season, uh, season Zero. Luckily, there's like this uh, fan English dub that uh, I want to give, give a try and see how it plays out. And I've seen people talk about it. So yeah, that's all I have to say. Again, I apologize for the very long video. This has been GeeksVL, saying off right now. And may this man rest in peace. Later.